I have not one, not two, not even three, but four things filled with portfolio stuff. And I'm only in my second year of art school. Love that for me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am filming quite an intensive video. This is the most effort I've ever put into a video, so appreciate that. But a couple of you actually requested to see this, so you know, I want to definitely do what you guys are requesting because I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers and when I do, I'll be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and all that. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be talking about portfolios, getting into art school, all about my portfolio, how I got in, all the good stuff. I currently attend the Fashion Institute of Technology. I'm 20 years old. Last year, I attended the School of Visual Arts. So I think I have quite the handle on art school now um, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of everything. Um, I would break this up into multiple videos but I can't promise that it will all get said over time so I'm going to say as much as I can today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put timestamps down below so you guys can more accurately, more accurately find what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to talk about my portfolio before I attended these schools, my portfolio from SVA, my portfolio from FIT, and I'm also going to be comparing them and then talking about how I got in. Actually, I'm going to start with how I got in. So. Let me give you a quick background. So I actually, as a senior, decided I wanted to get into art school, so I began looking into it, and I did a summer program at FIT, and I loved it. Um, I did interior design, and I loved the program, but I kind of didn't love interior design, but I still went with it. So I went and did my portfolio for interior design for FIT. Now FIT's interior design portfolio contains a couple specific things that you have to do to get in. Um, one of them being this guy, I had another one which I'll put up pictures later, and then a couple other specific things. Um, so I did all of those things and then decided that I wanted to go to SVA. So luckily I got into both SVA and FIT and I decided to go to SVA um, as a freshman and after that first year I did not love SVA. I might be biased in this video because SVA is a great school but I simply did not love it. That is for later in the video, I will talk about that. Um, so both FIT and SVA contained a portfolio and an essay and those were the main components. So for the essay I wrote down a couple things. If you guys see me looking down, I'll be looking at my notes. So The main thing I will say about the essay is make it unique. I remember one of my advisors had told me that they want to hear about the lemonade stand that you did when you were seven years old. They want to hear things that you were always an entrepreneur, you're always doing things like that. So um, that was something that I really took into consideration. And for my essay, I talked about how I was always decorating. When I played Bratz as a kid, I would always just decorate the house and then clean it up because I didn't really love to play. I just really enjoyed decorating. So I thought things like that would be interesting for the people to hear. And apparently it was because it got me in. Um, as for SVA, when I was writing that essay, I, I really just gave them a lot of background on how I wasn't. I did not come from an art background. I was actually like third in my class, took five AP classes. I was always studying. I was always doing my homework. Sorry my hair is wet, too. I look like a wet dog. Um, I was always doing my homework and then I decided I wanted to go to art school, so what was it all for? Who knows? But um, I talked about that a lot and how you know it kind of consumed my life. I quit cheer to really focus on my portfolio, so I talked a lot about that and that essay also got me in. So they really want to hear unique things. They don't want to hear I want to go to the school, it's the school for me, blah blah blah. They want to hear more into detail about you and things that are interesting in your life. And not a sob story, more just really interesting, unique things about you, um, just in general. 
So another thing I wrote down for my essay was that um, keep it fun, goofy, and playful. Don't, like I said, sound like you're typing an essay for a grade. You really want to be personal. You want to talk to these people as if you're talking to them face to face and you are having a conversation and really just telling them about yourself. This is the time to brag. This is the time to talk about yourself, which was hard for me because I am not the kind of person to talk about myself, um, especially great things that I've done. I, I was like, I don't know. What have I done? I, I studied hard in school. Good for, good for me. Like, I'm trying to get an art school. What does that do? So, you know, I made it into something unique and personal and really kind of took them into um, my life a little bit. And I really think that's key to getting into a college because they, you know, read a million essays. And I know you'll see that in every single video you watch like this, but it's true. They really want to see something different. So talk to them as if you're having a conversation. Sit down, write very personal, write as if you're writing in your diary and then later go in and edit. If you wrote LOL, you know, fix those things, but really keep it personal as if you were texting a friend. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is portfolio reviews. If you're going into art school, you probably already know about portfolio reviews. Um, they're very important. I personally only went to one, did I go to two? I think I only went to one, it was at FIT. And I went in with all mood boards. I, like I said, was going for interior design. And things like this were all my portfolio consisted of. Just because this is what I was good at and this is what I enjoyed. And they loved this, but they hated my portfolio. They said, you're not going to get in with this. This is not a good portfolio. Um, we need to see more. And I went home crying that day. And I was really mad at FIT, which is one of the reasons I wound up not going in the first place. But now when I look back on it, it was truly the only reason I got into SVA or got into FIT at all. Because really it pushed me into a totally different direction. I began to realize what they really wanted and they want to see um, variety, they want to see a lot of handwork, they want to see your process, they want to see your sketches, they want to see the good, the bad, the ugly, they want to see it all and um, it's hard to do that with such limited amount of pieces. I think they only wanted like 10 for SVA or 10 for FIT and then 15 for SVA so it is hard to narrow it down but they really want to see variety. So one of these just one is good enough one of your best ones um i had a drawing of a rose that i did in hand in class i'm going to show you more and more yeah, they want to see that you're really passionate about what you're doing they don't want to see that you cut pages out put it on and that was the end of that project they want to see that you you know sketched an idea that you designed an idea on your computer first and then brought it to life they want to see all that like I said, they want to see your passion, they want to see your you love what you do and you really do want to be doing this. I did not have the best portfolio. I genuinely just started working on portfolio stuff my senior year of high school. Most people do this since they're seven years old. So my portfolio was crap, crap. Looking back on it, it's like, yikes. But. I had that variety. I really worked my ass off and I made sure they knew that. Like I showed them and I did unique things and things that they probably hadn't seen before. And I had help from one of my teachers, Miss Perez. Saved my life, still owe everything I, all my success to her today and I will if I'm ever rich. She's the first one to get a house after my mom. Anyway, um, so variety in your portfolio, passion, process, all that personal be personal show them the raw parts of you show them the parts you're embarrassed to show people um because you know that really gets them gives them a chance to get to know you and want to get to know you more um okay so now i'm going to go into my portfolio so i'm going to first start off with my portfolio before i got into these schools this is a mood board and a floor plan again i was going for interior design so ignore that but it did get me into the communications design program as well because they just rolled over my portfolio so when I went back and applied to FIT um, so here I did I did my scale this is something that's important for interior design showing your scale I had a whole floor plan I of course learned how to do these in a FIT summer program but if you don't have that experience one you could look it up you can learn again that passion they would love to see that but even if you don't know just 
show a sketch maybe like a little sketch that you did of the best of your ability and then i did a whole mood board so i basically designed this little room and designed the floor plan and everything and yeah i believe this was something i actually did in one of my programs i could be wrong though on the total opposite end of the spectrum this is another piece that i put in my portfolio so this just goes to show the kind of variety that they want looking back on this i know it's it's not the best um it's really not good at all. I shouldn't be showing it for that long. I mean, I probably couldn't do better today. I suck at drawing. Always have. Always will. Miss Marsili really helped me a lot with this. Um, but they wanted to see a lot of this, too, because I had none of this when I went for my portfolio review, and this is more what they were looking for. Um, so I have a couple of these pieces that I threw in as well. So one of the projects, which I'm going to put right here because I don't know exactly where it is i'll keep it up while i'm talking about it so let me move over for it um was a um whatchamacallit a self-portrait type of thing i guess so you could do anything you wanted with it so i decided to do this as you can see here and actually this is the final i believe oh no this isn't in color but here it is not in color so i literally had so many attempts to do this damn mother half freaking project this was one project one project so that just goes to show you you know it's no joke it's no joke it takes a lot of effort um and process and all of that so eventually this is what it became and i'm really proud of it i still love that piece today actually i might take it out and hang it up i kind of really like it um but you know the process is super important and i actually did in um include a couple pictures of the process so you know a few of the the beginning stages, the middle stages, and then the final stages as I began to finalize it. So like I said, I had this little binder, which I actually brought this to a portfolio review, I believe. Oh, here's my congratulations FIT, congratulations SBA. I think this was my freshman year. Oh, that's got information on it. This was my freshman year, so. Um, but I have like my portfolio in here. Here's another piece I did when I first discovered my like, my love for graphic design, but I still did not go for graphic design yet. I was still uh, learning. I designed t-shirts and I showed them some of that. Some little pictures that I did like um, based on a photo that I took. That's the photo and then I designed a room based on it. So I thought that was interesting. But this bad boy, I wanna talk about this one and my other FIT piece, which I don't unfortunately have with me because it was entirely made out of food. But it was so cool. I wish I could have saved it somehow. Um, so this was the three-dimensional model of a space. So I designed this little cafe. And this is also going to be hard. I'm going to talk about why it's so great. Um, but really just things that I think make it stand out. So over on this little counter, which my pieces are going to fall. But on this counter, I actually painted that in the floor entirely out of coffee. Coffee grinds and water and mixed it and it kind of made this cool wooden texture. And then I just got a little furniture. Actually, Perez bought that furniture for me. Loved her for that. Um, and I bought some fabric pieces. So this is entirely fabric over here. Then I created a nice texture to kind of separate it. This was an outdoor section. Um and it has a oh, obviously this hanging roof so this is entirely um foam board and uh, this makes me so nostalgic and then i also glued these little pictures in there so really just paying attention to the fine details i think is what set this apart as for my hansel and gretel house let's talk about that because that was really fun to do so this image that i have here you can see the little gumdrops hanging from toothpicks on the ceiling, which I think is, I just, I love everything about this. Again, I wish I had it. This little rug um, was woven by the one and only Cynthia Perez. Um, I put little, I made a little fire pit in the back, made a hanging cage. So this was supposed to be Hansel and Gretel, the witch's house. 
Um, so here's just a few more pictures of that. Coal for the fire, the little oven, and I still love it, like I said, over and over. Um, but yeah, that's why I wanted to feature that. So I think that's it for before I got into the school. Um, so now I'm gonna talk about my SVA portfolio, then my FIT portfolio, and then I'm gonna compare the two. SVA was a great school. I met one of my good friends, Joe, there. Um, that's really about it. <laughs> um, I, I did really cool projects at SVA. Again, I might be biased because they did not love SVA for me. They are a great school and the projects I'm going to show you are insanely cool and I enjoyed doing them, but most of them were from one class. I had two classes that I really enjoyed, um, but other than that, like the school overall wasn't for me. So a couple of the things that I did, I had a 3D design class, which unfortunately I didn't have a 3D design class at, at uh, FIT. Well, I did, but it was not like this at all. So this was something I did. I had to make a product and make the packaging for it. So this was my product. I think it, the theme was like Big Apple. So I made this, I took, I made a book. I bought a book and cut it into this apple, painted the edges red. So I don't even know if you can tell anymore because it's all squished, but it's just a little apple with like this hanging tassel as like the bookmark type thing. And I don't really know what it was supposed to represent. It was just the Big Apple, a little hand made out of clay. This was the very first project I think I ever did in art school actually. Holy shit, this was the first project I ever did in art school. My little hand. Then I did this, which is kind of falling apart, but we had to make a crank toy, so this went on here like that. So you can kind of, oh, you can't see it, hold on. So it's like the balloons on top of the house. And it's not gonna be the best anymore because it's all falling apart, but the house goes up and down. Like I said, it's loose. Basically, we had to literally make the entire mechanism for this crank toy and it was so not easy. Took forever, literally forever. But it was really interesting to do and I really enjoyed it in the end. And um, we did some movie posters. That was one of the fun things that we did that I didn't do at FIT, which I really enjoyed. Um, some more movie posters. And then at the end of the semester for my um, visual language class we had to make a book and I am still so proud of this book this is where my brand started this is my freshman year at, F at SVA and here we are today with identity crisis YouTube and merch and uh, clothing on Depop so yeah we had to make this entire book so this is one of the patterns that I made here's what I did this took way longer than I care to admit so this was actually this piece was actually this made out of pipe cleaners and this Again, pipe cleaners, not. This was one of my most prized possession. I got this printed huge. I have to find that. Where did I put that? Um, and it was actually a series of three posters for a brand. So that was something we did at the end of the year. We couldn't include anything we wanted in it. Um, it's all actually up on my Identity Crisis Instagram page if you guys wanna look at more of these things. Most of it should be up there. And then another thing I had to do at SVA was for my drawing class, we had to make a book, which I'm going to warn you, I hate, hate, hated my drawing class. It was on Thursdays and I cried every single Thursday that year of SVA. Um, I hate drawing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway, I can't express that enough. We had to make this accordion book, which literally goes on and on and on and on some more so and on some more <laughs> so that is everything from SVA that's not everything but that's like a quarter of the stuff from SVA now I want to show you a little tiny bit about FIT um tracing paper is another material you'll burn through like water these were all from semester one we had to do simplicity to complexity um, I actually wound up loving these. Like, I would hang these all up on my wall. Actually, I probably will next semester in my dorm because they're just really cool. I did the, that one with lines and circles, or lines and dots, rather. This one was all circles. This one was triangles. This one was squares. And this one was cut paper. A couple of them were marker, but this one's cut paper. 
more typography stuff. Oh, here's the final keys. Actually, Isabel did the marble and she helped me with the brick. So, you know, the most impressive one is done by Isabel. She's in crazy. She's insane with the paintbrush. I am not. Guys, I'm an idiot. I found all my FIT stuff was together because I did an end of the year portfolio review on the last day of school and it was sitting in my mom's room still because I never put it away. So here's some FIT stuff. So my final project from the first semester, we had to do anything involving our projects from that semester. So I did the book of why and I had people take pictures of my artwork and tell me why they chose that image and why they put the picture where they did and all that. It was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I think I have a couple of those up on my Instagram as well. Here was something I did for um, typography one, semester one, some things with numbers. Um, this was from some typography two work, some of my more enjoyed work. I did it like an accordion again. So like the word for this was earthquake, bridge, tunnel, earthquake, nope, explosion, and empty. So things like that. Uh, some more color studies work. So this was optical illusions. So these are these are painted. This one's digital, but you can kind of see the illusion, except in the dark one. Don't worry, my teacher also noticed that it was too dark. Um. Oh, this cube that we did, this was circles. Uh, I chose to do circles, you could do anything, but it was just like a cube that had to describe a specific word. So and then I have this bad boy, which fell apart on the drive home from FIT. But I actually was making this in a vlog a week in my life at FIT or something like that, I think it was. But um, this big thing. I had to make this was really dope I still really like that but it's in two pieces now and then I had to make this whole ass gallery with like images it was a long ass process it doesn't even look like it but it was a very long process and I had to do the banner and an invitation for it I think the teacher has my invitation still so that is all of my portfolio stuff um, so if you've watched this entire video that is impressive. Um, but I want to end it with comparing my experiences both at FIT and SVA. So like I mentioned already, I definitely prefer FIT. I have now spent a year at SVA and a year at FIT and I can't wait to go back to FIT. I would have never thought I would have said that about school. Um, I miss not only my roommate, but I miss campus. I miss my classes. I miss my teachers, which is just weird. Um, but I really, 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 really loved FIT. So, without being biased, I'm going to talk about, about them both. So what I noticed about SVA is it's very school-based. They will kill you with work. Um, my freshman year, obviously, you see I had a, like, a lot of big projects. Like, this want you to do your school work and kind of want you to be focused on school in a sense where they really pound you too much with work and it's like I have no time to get an internship or focus on my career or go elsewhere and do things that inspire me for my projects because I was constantly like like I said I'm bringing this back up really because it's the only thing that's easy to grab because everything's toppled on top of each other but doing something like this I was in the studio in a basement locked down there for hours hours after class as well not even just during class this involved going around the city and taking pictures like these are all pictures around the city and then I had to you know trim them down go out and get more so it really involved like kind of more freedom in the sense like go out and live your life and do things and let that control your life this was like do this and you're gonna be stuck in a studio doing it for hours and what I feel about FIT just from being there one year is that they're very career based so instead of like SVA is very school based, FIT is very career based. They're very focused on getting you into your career and getting you into the real world and real world experience and projects that people are actually going to want. Another thing about SVA versus FIT is FIT is much more of a campus. Um, it is one street, it's entirely on one street, but I literally would roll out of bed and go to class like a normal college. SVA had to get up early to catch the bus or had to walk like 15 minutes of class, um, 
you know, so it was more city life. Um, FIT is more campus life, which is what I wanted. I wanted the campus experience in the very beginning. I was like, I want Greek life. I want sports. So FIT is the closest thing I'm going to get with that. We do have sports. I went to the gym every day. I don't even think SVA has it. No, SVA does not have a gym. SVA doesn't have a cafeteria. Um, there's just a lot of places to go on campus at FIT, which is not really a good thing or a bad thing. That just depends on what you prefer. Um, I personally work in my dorm a lot, so it wasn't really annoying for me to live at SVA. Another thing about FIT is they have so many opportunities for you to get involved. I am the last person to get involved in things, and I was involved in things. They have like a bunch of street fairs, flea markets. Every Thursday there's a flea market, which like outside vendors come and sell clothes and pins and magazines they have they support a lot of causes and you know they do those things because they do have a campus so they can SVA unfortunately like I said doesn't have a place for them to do things like that but it's in students faces oh SVA is so overwhelming because the people there are so talented everyone told me that FIT is so competitive and it's like don't show anybody your work. And I'm sure it is in like the fashion design major, but my major was like, everyone was wondering what everyone was doing. We were all helping each other and doing this. SVA is cutthroat. You go there, you're doing your work. You're doing your work for you, for no one else, and you're getting it done, and it's serious business. And the people there are so, so, so talented. And I've mentioned this already, I'm not the most talented artist. I'm not, I hate drawing, I suck at drawing. I don't come from an art background, so it was very overwhelming for me. I cried a lot, and that was probably a reason that I didn't enjoy it because I just it was a lot for me. Um, as for internships and careers and you know success rates, I can't say much because again, I'm only a freshman, so I don't a freshman at both, so I don't know too much about their career services. I do know that FIT's career service has so many internships for even freshmen. Um, but I've been rambling on about this for way too long, and I need to start to wrap this video up. Um, it's probably going to be a half hour, so like I said, there's going to be timestamps. I don't know why I'm saying this now. If you're at the end of this video, it doesn't matter. So let's just wrap it up. So I am proud to be an FIT student. I will be for as long as I possibly can. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about anything, leave them down below and I will definitely, definitely answer them. If you need to see another video, if you need me to go into more detail about any one topic, I will. Because I am trying to get to 100 subscribers so I can do that giveaway. And so yeah, just leave any comments down below that you have and anything else you want to know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. I still go by this quote today because FIT and SVA scare the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> I made this.